Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we're going to take a look at a new uh, simulator game that's coming out. It's called Clover the Store Simulator. Now this is not the full version of the game. As you can see, there's still a lot of uh, when the full version comes out. There's going to be more stuff you can do, you'll be doing this version. But we're, we're going to start a new game. Let's start our timer here. Now you can, um... I'm assuming once the game comes out, you'll be able to change the name of your store. You cannot do that right now. I'm assuming once it comes out, you'll be able to do it. Um, welcome. You're taking your first step in a, your journey to a small shop owner. You must improve your fashion center in the city by a few products to get started selling. Your selling prices must be balanced to take control of your customer income. Alright, so let's uh let's get started here. Alright, so we got one shelf. Um, we got a thousand bucks to start off with. Alright, so we can go to the computer here. So you have four options now. The full version, the workers are going to be released in the full version, so we don't have that yet. There's a lot of options that we don't have. Um, if you go in here for your products, you have products, furniture, stuff you can buy for the store, brands. You can unlock, in the beta, you can only unlock like four different ones. The rest will be when the game comes out. You also have a designer shop. So... I'm going to buy, what we need to do to get started here is we need we need to buy two shelves. I'm going to buy one of each of these, and one shelf will only hold one product. So we only want one. So we're going to buy, we buy two of those. And probably going to have to see if we can get two dressing rooms in we're well, just about going to use all of our money. Alright, that's going to leave us $86 to start off with. But we need those items so we can kind of get things going here. So, if you want to move your shelf, I figured this out. You can move your shelf. Hit the E button. Now, I'm going to put my shelf down this way. like that it's a little bit off but that's okay for right now all right so this is how your stuff comes this is your clothes this is uh what we ordered all right so to pick this item up we hit the e button to unpackage this item open box pretty much is what they call it all right hit the f we're gonna put the dressing room like right here so we can kind of watch. Because customers will leave uh, items in the dressing room. I've noticed that. Alright, so here's another dressing room. We at least want to start off with two dressing rooms. You know, once you grow the business, you know, you can get more. But, you know, start at least start off with two. Um, it gives you a little bit. And I, I don't like the footprints on the, I wish you, you could remove that. Maybe you'll be able to remove that in the full version. But you cannot remove it right now. Yeah, all right, so you got two dressing rooms. All right, go out the door. No, the, 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 come on, go out the door. we are being dumb. All right. All right, so we got some more shelves that we purchased here. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. It's a little bit off, but I can fix it a little bit later. I like it to be nice and neat, but it's a little bit off. That's okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get our other shelf put in. Oh, nope, we don't want that. Pick it back up. We want to open it. There we go. Alright. I'll put it right there. That is, that is a little bit better. Okay. 
All right, so now we can get our items. There we go. I'm gonna put these out. Okay. Match restart. Put these out. So it did have music, guy, but I turned it on because I was not sure if it was copyrighted or not. So didn't want to take that chance of it being copyrighted, so we turned it off. We got some uh, dresses here. We just dip on the shelf. So what we do now, if we go over here, yeah, you got to you know, check your prices for your product. So this is listed at fifty dollars. This is listed at thirty-seven dollars. This is listed at thirty-seven fifty. So we get you get up or down the prices. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to change the price of this dress. I'm going to go up one with it. It's sixty dollars. Now, let's go here. Approve it. Now, like I said, if you go up too much, they won't buy it, which makes sense. We're going to go up on this to just a little bit to thirty-eight. Okay, why did it do that? Dollars. Okay, we're going up on this one to thirty eight dollars. Nope. Thirty eight dollars. Okay. Has been updated. Wanna leave this at the same price, I think. That that'll be okay. To start off, and we can always lower the prices or add the or you know, gain the prices, um, raise them. So, all right. So this is uh, going to be your warehouse, and when you want to send your area, uh, a lot of this is not available in the, in the in the demo. And you see, warehouse is not warehouse is not available at all in the demo, which is not really good, but okay. All right. So we're gonna now. He wants us to open the store. Stores open, we just wait on the customers. Come in. I think this will be another good game that we could play like we do with, uh, with um, Supermarket Simulator. Um, it, you know, if they, if they do updates to it and you know, keep product coming like they've been doing with Supermarket Simulator, it'd definitely be a game to, to work out. Plus, to play for a while. Hello, man. Welcome to the store. All right, thank you. $113. All right, we made our first sale. All right. $78. Uh, $76. Have a good day. Uh, one thing I know about, I don't like the ceiling. I hope maybe you'll be able to customize your shop. I don't like that ceiling at all. And I don't see any lights in the building. Thirty-eight dollars. Yeah, so you yeah you, know, you don't want to buy it too much at one time because you, you know you have to look at your money and how much everything costs. So she's gonna try it on. She's gonna go to the dressing room. Now they will leave clothes if they don't like the clothes. They will leave them in the dressing room. As you see. She left, left something right there in the dressing room. So. $38. Now, just remember when you buy uh, one time, you can buy one and it'll fill up a rack um, of your quantum. Oh, 
my thirty eight dollar sales. Did we go? We must have. We may went up a little bit much on that. We'll look at it and see. See, that's what I'm saying now. See, they have, no one's buying the dresses because we went up on the price. So maybe we'll lower the price by five dollars. Still could buy them. I think we can go ahead and do that now. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Yeah, they're 60, 60 bucks. Let's lower the price to 55. All right, price has been updated. So it's like five dollars more. Okay, see, people have bought well, one, but still, that's one sale. You're gonna get the ones that tells you that, that you know it's too expensive. Well, they bought two, so. So your store normally closes, like I said, around 9 o'clock or 9 p.m. So we're going to back out of this. We're going to go over here and grab this. See you something right here. Now. Come on. Grab it. There we go. Put this back on the shelf. Come on. So we start a new day. Hit the end button. So we had a total of 14 customers. Successful was 11. Unfound product was one. And price expensive was two. So that's not too bad. We made 100, about a hundred. We made eight hundred dollars. We had thirty eight dollars. We started so rent cost of fifty dollars. Bills all total. So that's that's not too bad. Alright, so next day, we really don't have too much product, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and buy, and since we can only buy one, we're going to have a little bit left over. That's the honest way it's going to have to work. We're going to go ahead and buy one of these and one of these. That's it. Don't let me leave anything else right now. That's a fast delivery service. So, I wish it let you put it back in the box, but it won't. It's going to have one left. So, for right now, I'm going to put it right here. But I won't throw it. I'm going to set it right here for now. It's like a picture of a box. It's right there for now. Cause once one sells, you know we can put it out. Okay. Some shirts here. So we now we do have the option, which we don't have the money right now to get it, but we do have the option now to get the next. Huh? Come on, quit throwing stuff. We have the option just to show you. Now get the next um, brand. So we can buy the next brand. The next brand would give you men's pants, men's sweatshirts, men's shirts, and women's t-shirts. So that would be your next option on this. We're not going to do it right now. That's because it's $200. We're going to have to buy some more shelves and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open up the store. And get right now, kind of sell what we have.
So yeah, the game is going to be interesting you know, once the full version comes out. And maybe it's something that we can play like we've been playing, um, you know, Supermarket Simulator. You know, it's definitely going to be a, you know, fun little addition to something we can do. There's a lot of these simulators like this coming out. And, a lot, and there's like four more uh, Supermarket Simulator type games that's uh, listed to come out. So, all right, you need a day? All right, have a good day. Two items, ninety-three dollars. Have a good one. So guess we're gonna have to buy more shelves, and that's why I didn't go ahead and purchase the license for the next one. We need to buy more shelves and get the shelves put in, then. Having that way, we'll have we need to buy at least four shelves or more four racks. Um, then we'll be able to you know to put more product in. We don't want to over over buy ninety three dollars. Thirty eight. Alright, so see, alright, we got our dress station. So what we're gonna do while we're waiting, go ahead and pick this up. We saw one, go ahead and put it down the shelf. Put down the shelf so to sell. Grab this dress. I like how it puts it back in the wrap. Put it back on the shelf. Okay. Keep the store kind of clean, you know. Find your dress. All right. Have a good day. Hundred forty dollars. So we made a little bit of a profit. Can we, yo, you want to make just a little bit of profit? So yeah, I went up a little bit, like five bucks on the dresses. The rest of it's about the same price. And we're going to get a thumbnail for our next customer here. There we go. Got a thumbnail. $67. Have a good one. Level 2. All right, ninety-three dollars. Have a good day. Yeah, right now we don't have any dresses. We're out of them. Um, Got to get some more in, but. We're gonna try to get some more shelf rack. I don't know why I keep calling it shelf. More racks in so we can do some uh, uh, men's clothing. Hello, ma'am. All right. Thirty-eight dollars. All right. Have a good day. Yes, ma'am. We're out of them. We'll have some money come in on the truck. All right. So it's nine p.m. again. Like back out of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and check the dressing rooms real quick. I think it looks good there. So we're gonna have to order a little bit of product. So we're gonna hit in. So we had two un unfound products. No too expensive products we made ninety eight dollars total today total was full to four hundred and five dollars after uh, sale for seven hundred and seventy seven dollars expense was three hundred and three hundred four dollars rent was fifty dollars bill was eighteen dollars so so we didn't do too bad first I got some 
Oh, yeah, we got quite a bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to probably be able to buy some shelves. We got a little bit of money that we can play with here. We don't spend too much money, but we get a little bit of money here. So I'm going to go ahead and probably buy four shelves. That's $400. Now we're gonna make it a product. We're gonna buy a, one thing of dresses. That's two hundred dollars. All right, that's gonna leave us with six hundred dollars. We don't want to spend much more than that. Let's we'll just sell what we have. You know, before we send, before we spend more. So like I said, the warehouse is not, we can't use it yet. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Hit L. To open. We'll go ahead and put our shelves in. I don't like you calling it shelves. I, I, about what you say, I keep you can say it's a shelf, so it's a shelf. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Alright. So we got more shelves in, and they won't shop from it because you said there's no tag, so they won't shop. We're going to go ahead and sell what we have. So we're going to open the store. Right now, it's leaving us sitting around $600. We'll buy another shelf. But the product license for the next item is going to be uh, around 200 bucks. So, yeah, you know, you kind of have to, you do a little bit of time. They really, are, they're not supposed to go to the shelves that don't have an item. On it. Hello, hundred forty nine dollars. Right. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Yeah, I think that's something they're gonna have to look at. Now there is a problem that they do get stuck. So that's probably gonna be fixed in the in the full version of the game. They'll get stuck in the shelf um, for some reason. I don't know why, but for some reason they'll get stuck in the shelf and they'll just stand there. So that is something that most likely they will be fixed in the full version of this game. Hello, ma'am. Three items? All right. Have a good one. Have a good one, Dave. Hundred forty eight. All right. We appreciate it. Come back. Hundred thirty one.
So we pretty much have already made our money back for what we spent on the shelves. So product's a little bit low, but that's okay. We should have enough to make it to the afternoon. We're about, uh, close to about 5.30 now, so we should pretty much been make, make it. We may have enough to where we can go ahead and purchase the, the license for the next product. So yeah, we are gonna have you know a few price um where they couldn't find the product. That's gonna happen a little bit here. Have a good day, sir. Your wife will love it. I'm assuming that's why you're buying that dress. I ain't judging her. Come back though. Have a good one. Hello, ma'am. Two items. All right. All right. See. Let's grab that. So we can grab this, put it back on the shelf. Because it didn't sell. So. Okay. Nope. Got a customer. Have a good night. We're going to close the store. That would be pretty interesting. There's a taco stand right here. How's that shipping? Oh, this is your shipping office. I wonder if this is going to be available in the game. Or maybe that's like a UPS store. Maybe that's what they're talking about. The shipping office. I don't know if this door opens, though, don't it? Is this the Amazon? Oh no, this is your warehouse. The storage. Okay. I didn't even notice that. You know, we're just kind of looking around here for a minute. Let's see what else is out, out, around here. That's pretty cool. It's not really hooked to the building, but it's close. So that, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, we're just looking around. There's more sides to the. I don't know if this is the warehouse or not, by the way. No, this is. It'll be the store when you extend it. Okay. This store can be huge. Look at this. Yeah, you're starting off small compared to what it can be. Alright, so. Profit on that was about $107. We made, well, $306. All right, so what we're, what we're going to do is if we have a little bit of money, we're going to go ahead and buy what we need to buy. We're going to go ahead and buy the product license and buy one item. Okay, we're going to have to kind of bleed this stuff in. All right, so you see, that's $200. All right, right there. Okay, so that we have, that only gives us, like, three more items. No, four. Okay. Four items. So, we have one of these in stock. None of this. So, we're going to go ahead and do our normal. 200. That's three. We're going to buy one item right now. we we got to make sure we have enough money. Because they're going to charge you for shipping. That's $600. We might go buy two. Let, let's try to buy two. Okay, that's nine. We want to leave it right there. Cause we want to have a little bit. We want to have a little bit of money. And left. So it leaves some four hundred dollars for everything. Okay. All right, that's men's shirts. I'm gonna put them right here. All right. Right, pants. Look at right here. Like kid pants. This is our one of our normal items. We'll just put it back out. Okay. 
They're stocking back up here. Some shirts. Okay. We ordered more of the dresses. We have one left. So it's going to give us one extra. I want to set that right there. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for the day. We just want to get here and check out. I will definitely be doing more of this game. I'm gonna be doing a lot more when it comes out. The full version of the game comes out. Um, but I definitely we're gonna be doing more. Um, I am liking what I'm seeing of this so far. It's gonna be something we can put some time in, like we have with a um, supermarket simulator. This would definitely be another that we will do that. And I have more of these types of games coming. There's, I have more that I haven't even done videos on yet uh, that I have on my Steam folder. So, but thank you for watching. Thank you everyone who has been supporting and subscribing to the channel. Make sure you have channel growth. And we'll see you in the next video or stream.